small haul today. I didn't buy a lot of stuff because I have a lot of stuff to use up. So I'm gonna try to make sure I use everything in my pantry and fridge that needs to be eaten. But I did buy a few things. I'll show you what I got. I am gonna make rice and gravy. Oh, look at her. <laughs> so excited. I am gonna make some rice and gravy. I have some beef stew meat from my butcher box order that I need to use up. So I'm gonna pull that out of the freezer, let that defrost, and I'll make that. So since I already had the meat, I just bought some bell pepper. I do have some frozen colorful bell peppers, but I don't have a green one. So I bought a green one to put in my rice and gravy. I have an onion already, I have some celery, and then I'll just snap on these two colorful ones. I bought some romaine. Yesterday I went to Chipotle and I have a lot of my order left. I couldn't eat it all, but I ate all the lettuce off of the bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some fresh lettuce. And then I'll just make a salad, I guess, with the rest of the lettuce. I bought a poppy. I'm gonna try to taste the different flavors. Someone let me have a raspberry one. I think it was raspberry and I really liked it. So I was gonna try some different flavors. I did not like the Olipop. I tried that one and maybe it's just the flavor that I got, but I wasn't a big fan, but I did like the poppy. I also bought some cucumber, some avocado. I bought some cantaloupe. I just bought one because even though I think I can eat more, if I buy like too much fruit, it goes bad because I'm only one person, how much can I eat? So I got one container of pre-cut cantaloupe. Got some more eggs. I do like the pasture raised. And I bought some of these. I've been liking these protein shakes. I don't really put them in coffee. I've been kind of cutting down on my coffee drinking, but I bought these just to have, it's 16 grams of protein. It just tastes kind of like chocolate milk to me, but it's got a little bit of fiber too. So it's got nine grams of fiber. It's got some protein. So it's a nice little snack. And I got this one to try. I've tried one of this, versions before in iced coffee and I didn't like it, but I thought I would give some other flavors a try. And then I got the chocolate peanut butter banana one. So I'll have those in the fridge. I'll try to pick them up whenever I see them. So stay tuned to see how I put all this together to make some yummy meals this week and stay on track. And don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, we're gonna have a use it up breakfast. This is my last double raisin cinnamon English muffin. We're gonna use that up. Got some eggs, I've got more than I need, but we'll use some of these. Some jam, some Tillamook cheese. They're still good. So I'm gonna work on using some of these up. So we're gonna make a little breakfast. I was lucky enough to get some fresh eggs from a coworker. I guess her mom has some chickens, so <laughs> this was such a treat to get these fresh eggs. And this is how I like to eat my English muffins. I like to have one with a little cheese. The I can't believe it's not butter spread and jam. And then the other one just with butter. So that way I get a little bit of both worlds. I also used up this Chobani yogurt drink. So another item out of the fridge. So these are all the ingredients for my Lazy Girls rice and gravy. I've got grass-fed beef stew meat. Normally you want something with a higher fat content for rice and gravy, but I made it work. I've got some onions. This is half an onion already chopped and frozen. I've got some celery and some bell pepper. I'll probably just use a handful of the celery and then about a cup or half a cup of the bell peppers and all those onions right there. I'm going to use the olive oil for the pan i've got some corn there that'll be my side and let's get to it started off by just sauteing all the veggies in a medium to medium high heat
I forgot to mention I did add a bay leaf. Once the veggies cooked down, I just added my package of meat and just cooked that down with the veggies to get all that flavor melded together. I added about two cups of water. Let it come to a boil just for about 10 or 20 seconds. You don't want that meat to get rubbery. And then I just lowered the heat and let it simmer on medium to medium high, kind of back and forth for about 30 minutes probably. Let it cook all the way down. I didn't really time it, but just until it looks about like this. And then I called it ready. This is what it looked like served in a bowl over rice and it was really good really delicious a really easy meal the meat wasn't as tender as i would like but this was a quick meal i didn't have a lot of time on hand and it was totally worth it i got five servings out of it and i served it with corn with a little bit of the i can't believe it's not butter spread Initially, I thought I would have added an avocado every day, but I didn't end up doing that. I did it one day and I just didn't bring the avocado the rest of the days. So I still have those avocados to finish. I'll probably make some avocado toast soon. So I got three servings out of my bowl. This is what will be left. I'll put this back in the fridge. I ate about this much yesterday and then I have a nice solid bowl full. I did buy some queso, so I'll put a little bit more of that on there. And I've got some lettuce to add. So a nice little feast. I do have a lot of chips left from Chipotle as well as some guac. So I'll have some of that.